Today I was going to go over one of the features on the Behringer Zenith X1204 USB mixer. And I've gotten a lot of questions about the two track connections and a lot of people it doesn't work for them depending on how they set it up. So I was going to try to clarify and maybe hopefully explain some of what goes on when you connect things to these particular connections. Uh, so to start with, we have to kind of think about what the purpose of these are. So, or the purpose of the, these is. <laughs> so these are RCA type connections. So the two track is meant to put, have input, unbalanced input from another unbalanced source. So like, let's say your CD player or your tape player, you can put input here. And if it's a recorder, you can put the input from the recorder here and connect the output to the recorder so that if you record something, then you can play it back and listen to it. There's two ways that you can listen to it. You can listen to it through your headphones or you can listen to it through your main mix. If you're gonna to listen to it through your main mix, so in order for any input here to be heard through the main output so that you can hear it on your speakers if you have it, have it set up to an amplifier or amplified speakers you have to press this button to select that source okay if you don't press that button you're not going to hear it the other thing with this is that this is meant to record and play back so Normally, theoretically, you're not going to play what you recorded back and record it at the same time. So there's where the, the problem comes for a lot of people. They will try to do a karaoke setup with the mixer, put their music source in here because they have RCA connections. And then when they record it, either through the output out to a recorder or through the USB, they can't hear the music, there's only the voice. So, like I was explaining before, this is not meant to have input to the actual mix itself. It's only for playback, and it will not be incorporated into the mix, either through this output or through the USB output. In other words, it will not record. So another thing with this input, I now connect the two RCA jacks to it, and I'm going to play some music through it through my phone. So I have that connected to my phone is that because it's not meant to go or be part of the mix itself, there is no volume control for this other than either the main control. If you're listening to this through the speakers or as far as the input goes, you have to control it with your phone using the volume on your phone. There is no effects to it, so you cannot add sound effects to it. It's just, like I said, it's, it's meant to be playback. So if you connect your phone to it, I'm going to, right now, I'm, I have, I'm going to use my phone as a source of, of music, and I have my speaker connected. So let me make sure I turn up my main volume. I turn up the microphone there and I have it connected to the computer via USB and I have Audacity which is a recording program up so that you can see what happens to this so if I, I'm going to tap on the on the microphone and I can actually hear it through the speakers and I'm going to Click here to start monitoring. And now this should send a signal and it's going through the phone. I'm sorry, through the microphone that's right beside me so you can see the green lines. I'm hoping, whoa, I'm hoping you can see it right there. As I speak, the monitor is receiving a signal. Now I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna turn on my phone and put music through the two track input here 
and what will probably happen is you will not see a signal. Like I said, you cannot record through this. All right, I'm gonna be quiet and it's uh, already playing and all right, nothing to, to the, for recording. Now I'm gonna press this button. You can't hear it through the speaker. So I'm gonna turn down the volume. I'm, I don't know how loud it is. I'm gonna press the two track USB main so it goes to the main. I'm gonna activate it. All right, you hear it now? So now how do I record a karaoke if I cannot use this, right? Because then that means you're gonna have to buy an adapter that uses the quarter inch connectors with whatever the connector you're going to connect to your karaoke source, be it your phone or whatnot. You just cannot use that. All right, so I turn the volume down. I'm going to disconnect these. And now this is the way it's supposed to be done in order to record through your USB. I'm going to connect this to a channel. All right, in this case, I chose channel five. It doesn't really matter. And now I'm going to connect my phone to that channel. Turn the main up and turn the music back on. All right. So now if I'm if I stop talking The music is going to the recorder. If I add my voice to it, so I'm going to turn the music down and test, 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 that is also recording. So now you can record your mix from your karaoke music, your voice, USB to your computer. Cannot use that for that. This is technically to record and play back what you recorded. So just real quick, the last thing is that if you want to listen to this through your phone headphones, and that's what the idea is. So like, let's say uh, my source is coming in from the recorder back into here. Now I can, while the band can keep playing in with their mix and you know, everything going into the channel, the voice, the music, and blah, 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 blah. I can, in the meantime, listen to what I recorded previously by connecting the headphone here. Listen to the headphones while everything's playing through the mix. Press this button here, which sends to the phones or control room or the headphones or control room. And I can control that volume separately here. So I can be playing something through here, independent of the mix. Again, this does not go through the mix. And I can listen to it, control the volume here, while the rest of the mixer is being used to keep playing or practicing or whatever. So I hope this clarifies a little bit of why you might be having trouble using this. Most people honestly will not use that. You can if you want, if you have on an additional sound source. So if you have all your channels used up and you want to put an MP3 player or your phone or something and play music there, you can connect it there, send it to your main at, while everybody takes a break. So I hope that clarifies some of the questions about how to use that two track and why it might not be working. So for most people, it's just that you're not pressing Whoops, <laughs> I hit the camera. You're not pressing the button to activate it and send it to the main. Or if you're trying to record, you just cannot record from the input. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments. Subscribe if you like the videos. And thanks for watching.